Welcome. Good evening, everybody. My name is Darren Rose with 98.7. And welcome to PB Hollywood. Of course, those here in the heart of Hollywood on Sunset and those of you watching around the world. The scene in Los Angeles is the best in the world, in my opinion. Some of the best music is coming out of here. And that's part of what the series is all about at PB Hollywood is bringing up some of those up and coming emerging artists and showcasing what they have. Stick around after the performance. We're gonna get to know the band a little bit. But right now, please welcome Queen Caveat. Howdy, y'all. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's growing like a lie, and I'm over being unsatisfied. You know I will not listen, but will you listen to me? I know it is divided, cause I still haven't decided what you mean to me. It's just a fallacy. But it won't break me out there. These are lies they love. The only thing that's left to see, and I'm sure.
<laughs> thank you so very, very much. <laughs> We're Queen Caveat. We're a band. <laughs> we have a residency coming up um, here locally in Los Angeles at the Satellite. Every Monday, I think the 3rd, 10th, 17th, to 24th, we will be doing decade-themed shows. We have some phenomenal guests, some great 98.7 guests. Um, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's free. It's free, too. So free as me, free as you. We'll see you guys there. This song is about uh, when I lost my virginity. It didn't even hurt. <laughs> To fly the coop is like denying my roots, and I'm sure you follow the streets because you're smelling something sweet, and I know it's me. You want to touch my waist because you say you want to taste, and I know. This is a pretty cool place here at PV on Sunset Boulevard. This is so cool. There's a lot of like great vibes off this street right now and in this room. Don't you feel it? Woo! Woo! This song is about rejection, which sucks.
the heart of time, you were there for us. Change came definitely and we leave out that we are still so far. This is Lauren fucking Little right here. This is Timmy, Jack, John. Why? You, you, that's when you know your friends are in the crowd because, or otherwise, no one would laugh because that's not their names. So all of our friends are here tonight, but all of our fans and our friends are the same people. So that's fucking awesome. And that's the queen caveat away. And we thank you for being here. Yeah, me. This song is called Bullet.
really, really fucking good time. Once again, we're Queen Caveat. Thank you, 98.7 FM, for having us. Fuck yes, thank you, Dan Rose. Thank you to the PV House here on Sunset Boulevard. We do adore you, darling. This one's called Resilient Me. And also, while we're on the subject of resilience, my home state, Oklahoma, um, just got ransacked by some tornadoes, and I got friends and family there, so can we keep them in mind? The song is dedicated to them. They're mo the most resilient folks that I know.
guys, real quick caveat. Thanks for having us. Thank you, PD. We love you guys. 98.7, Darren, you rock. Let him hear it. You guys don't get to escape. This is the portion of the program where we get to know you guys a little bit. Are, is, are the rest of the bo guys going to come back? dumps after each set every no, time. No, and that's the way it should be, but not at PV Hollywood. We, we like to get to know our artists a little bit. Lauren Little, everybody. <laughs> uh, Darren Rose, you've heard him. Yeah, boo. Uh, and, this, and by the way, she did give fake names for those that aren't family or friends. Will, here, the big tall gentleman on bass. <laughs> Jesse, the maniac on drums. And, of course, Ben on guitar. Of course, they are Queen Caveat. You, and usually, you guys, uh, I ask the, the guy, when, when there's a female in a band, I'll usually ask how they keep the guys in control. And I'm going to ask you guys how you keep Lauren in control because she's a maniac. Is there any, is there any controlling her at all? Xanax? You guys, can, you guys can share the mic here. <laughs> But uh, no, amazing performance, so much energy. Uh, I do want to ask a serious question though. You guys are like through and through DIY from everything you guys do online, obviously the music you create, all of your social, even your graphics. You guys are like a, a, a band is a small business. How does that, uh, talk about that process and, and some of the challenges and uh, how's that going for you guys? Obviously well. <laughs> oh, now she's shy. One of the, it's one of the hardest things what we're trying to accomplish, and the only thing we can do is just, you know, pick at it every day and <laughs> um, just do do whatever we can. Just get, utilize every resource, friend, family, and you know, like we've been doing it for four years now, and it's nice to have a little cash mm -hmm. to reward those people that have really done a lot of stuff for free uh, over the years, like uh, my brother's wife Cameron, who's literally done a million things with us for free. So. Mm -hmm. You know, you, we couldn't do it without without a lot without a lot of help from friends and family. So. And let's uh, run. I mean, Jesse, I know you do a lot of the graphic design. You use some of the artwork. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, I screen print. I. He I does the labor. Yeah, I do all the labor, and I fix the van. So when you buy merch, it's coming straight from Jesse's hand. <laughs> yeah. So you're kind of like the home improvement guy since the van, you guys probably sleep in the van, yeah, you I'm fix from the van. New Hampshire, so I'm expected to know that shit. Like yeah. <laughs> building shit, making shit. He's really uh, good at like yeah, like yeah. thinking he knows something about like the van and then he like goes and like works on it for a bit and then he's mm. like, I, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Good, uh, you That's <laughs> not true. He's yeah. good at that stuff. Well, the truth is is that without our friends and our fans, you can't do anything yourself it's all of them I mean a lot of these people have brought their friends they know that if they bring their friends to a show we'll take it from there mm -hmm. but th they're getting them out it's word of mouth it is you word know, of mouth. Ben you know has <laughs> worked in the industry so that he's managed bands he was the product manager for Motley Crue so that always mm -hmm. helps you you know you just uh, right yeah you just you got to mix your own poison but do it yourself just just and network, be accessible, it. talk to people. Yeah. Will, Will, you wanted to add some? Yeah, he can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just, I like, I, speaking to the DIY model, what we've been doing for years, I think the coolest part about it is, like, being in touch with our friends and family and having them help us is, is awesome. But, you know, also being in constant contact with our new fans, it's like the whole DIY model kind of lends itself to exactly doing that. Staying in touch with your fans, bringing them out, like, being in constant touch with them on email and Facebook, and it's like, it's been really awesome to meet new people and, and have new fans come out to every show. What, for those in the audience or watching at home w that are in bands, that are musicians, what can you guys say about w the most difficult, or what, what have you learned, or what sort of advice with four years under your belt would you give, or what are some of the more uh, challenging aspects that you guys have overcome? Um, <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say the most important thing is constant communication, something that we obviously we struggle with a lot mm -hmm. still to this day. But like constant communication, just being able to like be open with each other in terms of like where you see the band going, influences, you know, even as something as mundane as practice times, you know, always 
having open channels of communication and not being closed off with one another, I think, is probably the most important thing. Let shit go. <laughs> Let shit go. Let it all go. Because it doesn't matter. Get naked. Get naked with your band. <laughs> one time. And your music will forever succeed. I swear to God, if you get naked one time, you'll have the best It sets friendship. everything free, doesn't it? You Does were that? there. I was? Oh, yeah. Are you sure it was me? And Otis. It was don't at your bring, house. Don't bring Otis into this. That's my dog. <laughs> don't bring Otis into this. Yeah, let shit go. He's a PG dog. Don't, don't check your ego at the gate. Don't worry about who does what. Be a team. Be equal. You will go f so far. It does not matter who did what. As long as you all are pulling your weight, you have four people on the right side, you're going to make it. You're and everybody's got to pull. I mean, you can't, you know, you oh, can't yeah. be the weak link. You got to work as a team. All those little cliches obviously um, come together to make a good product. Delegating things to do to, the, to each other, you know, like yeah. having responsibilities What's and some my responsibility? Um, yeah. running to the merch table Space immediately yeah. after. Uh, yeah, Xanax. <laughs> No, go ahead. What's Rolling on the stage? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. That's it. Showing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Queen Caveat, thank you guys so much Thanks, for uh, this tonight at, at BV Hollywood. Uh, you can check out their tunes on iTunes. EP out, music out, and uh, website, Twitter, all that stuff. Yeah, well, you're plugging it. We got a new record coming out this summer. I don't know the date, but Speaking soon. of being a good manager. <laughs> At Twitter. We're constantly releasing like little clips. <laughs> We're quantifiably releasing uh, clips from our new songs. You know, we have several links to um, a lot of the new songs you heard tonight, Brave Boy Breathe, from shows like this acoustically or little teasers. And so you can at least kind of hear the, the, the record a little bit until we get something out. And uh, I think we're shooting a music video next week for, can I say it? We're shooting a music video. I don't know what. We don't know what song yet. But, and if you wanna, um, please go on our Facebook and um, from the songs you heard tonight, the, the, uh, the third, fourth, and I don't fucking remember. Brave Boy Breathe, if you do know some of the new songs, please tell us which uh, one you wanna do a video for, because we're stumped. Bottom line is, they are Queen Caveat. You can find them on the interwebs. Thank you to Queen Caveat for performing tonight. Thank you to PV Hollywood. Thank you to all of you worldwide watching online. We'll be back here next time. <laughs>